Hey gang. Let's uh, try and be succinct here. So, uh, massive mea culpa and uh, kind of monster screw up on my part. The broad front strategy and welcome to the big board and all that sort of good shit. Uh, the, the broad front strategy, rule 3.1, I underlined it. Underlined when the broad front strategy actually kicked into play and when those restrictions came in. And as you probably saw, last night or the night before when I was doing some live streaming, I was talking about how challenging that uh, broad front strategy was. Well, guess what? The first uh, three turns, uh, you know, at least through the 12th of September, you don't have the broad front strategy imposed upon you. So that means that if I had have got seven SP and I wanted to give it all the pattern, I could have done that. Number one, number two, I could have reallocated resources further north and put more up there. That was also uh, also an option. Uh, so it's a big mistake on my part, and it's not one that I can readily uh, fix. Nor is it one that I'm really prepared to reset the map on uh, to to kind of carry forward with. So I think it's just going to be the allies playing at a significant disadvantage for the balance of the campaign. Now, that said, because I kind of like to not really know too much about what's coming up to keep the kind of surprise level up relatively high for each uh, side, I haven't really been looking forward into the reinforcement pools for the allies or the Germans for that matter. And so, <clears throat> We got uh, an issue as the Germans, so I think this will kind of balance itself out because as a seasoned uh, OCS player, you of course would have studied in depth all of the reinforcements that are coming in over the course of the first 10 turns so that you know exactly where they're coming in and what they're comprised of, and you would make sure you had forces in the right place so that you could deal with that, right? Well, my friends, here we go. Let's have a look at the southern end of the map. So we're all the way, there's four maps. We're down here at the southern end of map C. And uh, for the last two turns, German units have been coming on here and kind of moving up to here and reinforcing and pretending they're going to threaten the flank of the Allies and it was going to be awesome. Uh, no, 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 really not. They're being chased by the French 1st Armoured here. They're being chased by the 6th Corps, which has three full infantry divisions, three anti-tank units of varying quality, six battalions, oh, sorry, six battalions, three battalions of uh, tanks and a bunch of armor, one of which is one of the mega armor, um, armor artillery units, 108 firepower, three-step unit. Take some of that. Got a truck, finally. Got that going on. A little bit further uh, to the east, we have the first uh, headquarters for uh, the French. Bringing on a ragtag bunch, two, three different divisions there. So immediate first opportunity, units in Stratmo, loose truck driving around, gonna get ugly. And then uh, there's nothing, look, nothing. Oh, you probably can't see because of the, uh, the, oh, let's just zoom in and let's get over here a little bit. So here we go. There's the uh, Colmar area. We're in trouble, fellas. The Germ Germans, nothing. Uh, so I've got a full movement here that we're going to uh, get to play with as the allies and cause all sorts of mayhem. Now, the good news for the Germans is it's not it's not all uh, wine and roses for or beer and pretzels or whatever the correct term is. Uh, it, it's, it's not all beer and pretzels for the Yanks because uh, the Germans do have three partial uh, panzer divisions just hanging out over there, over here, actually behind my head, uh, that will be able to drop everything they're doing and come this way and sort of stop gap. I don't know what the reinforcements are for the, the next turn, but I've got enough um, enough rail cap that I can get 10 re, about 10 regiments down into this zone here to uh, perhaps start filling, filling the gaps. So that's my, uh, you know, the struggle is real video for the day. Gameplay continues and we'll see what happens in, on the September the 12th turn for the Allies as they bring on this mass of reinforcements and now come under the auspices of the Broadfront strategy for real. We'll talk to all you guys very soon. Stay cool.